Everybody just bounce and feel the beat of the drums. It's a happy welcome song, so make sure you smile. Now, traveling arms from low to high. I'm so excited on the top and burst. Of the Hold your heart. Now, swing your arms like you're marching. Reach to the audience. Hold your heart. Reach to the audience again. And we do the whole thing again. Traveling arms and burst. Hold your heart. Swing your marching arms. Reach both hands. Do that one more time. Now a new soloist comes forward. And turn your arms. First, hold your heart. Swing your marching style arms. Reach to the audience. Now bring forward a new soloist. Here we go. Turn. First, reach your hands to your heart. Swing your marching hands. Reach to the audience. Hands to your heart. Again, reach. Now we step clap and celebrate a little bit. Now clap on every beat. Reach to the audience. Hands to your heart. Do that again. And one more time, slower this time. You are welcome to your heart. And everybody wave to the audience. The all welcome, friend.
save the earth. We are the guardians of the nature birth. Here we are our great friends. Enacting the play where they are presenting how the old sanctuary is being saved by the animals. Oh, what's this so much mud and water? Hey, we are in a swamp that the 700 years old cypress tree is with animals. Have you heard of it? No, then watch. This is a hard work walking through all this mud in this one. I know the old cypress tree is around. Our principal, Miss Poonam Aroda, to share her message with the parents. Good day, dear parents, and welcome to today's annual cultural event. Dear parents, the year 2020 has unfolded itself as a very difficult 
as well as different year for all of us. The year has posed so many challenges, so many difficulties, but I can proudly say that we as BCGNs, whether we are parents, whether we are teachers or we are children, we all have taken up this challenge so beautifully and made sure that life goes on as normally as possible for all of us. The teaching learning process that we started in the month of June when the kids could not come back to school, lot of problems were faced by all of us. I will be honest about that, whether it was teachers or parents back at home or it was our children. All of us were facing lot of problems, but we all overcame those challenges so well that if you enter a classroom today, it is so much of joy is there in the classroom. So much of interaction is happening between the teacher and the child. So much of learning is taking place. The activities that are going on in the classes, when you step into a classroom, it's such a beautiful experience. And it tells us that, yes, we have made sure that learning and education cannot be stopped because we are not back in school. I know nothing can substitute a teacher and a child in the classroom because there every moment is a learning for the child and every experience is one from which the child gains. But we have tried to ensure that as much as possible through these online classes, we are able to provide that experience to our children. The curricular subjects are going on, but at the same time, the co-curricular subjects are also taken care of. The social emotional learning curriculum is also in place and implemented in the class teachers periods and the kids get a platform to voice their thoughts, to give a platform to their emotions so that they feel heard, they feel wanted, they feel loved and they are also guided and directed by their teachers. I feel what we talk about holistic development of the children cannot be put on hold for a year. We can't say because COVID is here, we can only do English, math and science. No, the children deserve much more than that. And we as a school have tried to ensure that their school experience is as close to the normal school as possible. And here I would also like to thank our parents from the bottom of my heart. All our classes, all our trainings and all our efforts would have been futile if you had not supported us in this venture. I always say that parents and the school are co-partners in the learning process. But this year it has actually been put to test and I can say that our parents have come out with flying colors. They have supported our children back at home. Parents, I have seen how actively involved you are in your child's teaching learning process this year. And for that, I need to thank you from uh, all the staff of Bombay Cambridge, especially the teachers who are feeling that their classrooms are great learning sessions nowadays because parents are also taking equal responsibility for their child's learning back at home. Today we have been able to put up this program again because we have worked together on it. And the purpose of these events, the purpose of these activities is to make the child feel that life will go ahead as normally as possible. P problems will be there, but we have to come back with resilience. And that is what 21st century skills are all about. You have often heard me talking about them, but that's all problem solving, solution oriented, or accepting the challenges and moving on. And I think 
the year 2020 has been the greatest teacher for all of us because practically it has taught us how to learn these 21st century skills, how to use them in our actual day-to-day -day life. On that note, parents, I know our children are putting up a great show and I think they deserve a big round of applause for that and enjoy the rest of the program with our children. I know people are talking about the vaccines coming in, but still we must not let up on our safety measures and stay safe, stay healthy and hope to see you back in school as early as possible because I can vouch for it that the children are missing their teachers, the teachers are missing their children and we are all feeling very lonely in the school in the absence of our children. Thank you parents and have a wonderful day. Thank you ma'am for your valuable words. Now I request our primary head Ms. Rajata Malik to share the section report. Dear parents, a warm welcome to all of you to our 33rd annual cultural program, Crescendo. It's an honor and privilege for me to present before you the report of the primary section for the academic year 2020-21. It is said that there's a powerful driving force inside every human being that once unleashed can make any vision, dream or desire a reality. It is this very force which has got reflected in all what has been done in this special academic year. The pandemic posed a challenge to all of us and working in this new environment as well as embracing the new opportunities that it offered. I can proudly say that we all, that is your parents, we teachers and our dear students have definitely succeeded like success. The new academic year commenced with the online classes with teachers and students confined in their respective abodes. The physical proximity was missing, yet every teacher connected with the students marvelously. The teachers were imparted various trainings to enable them to conduct online classes efficiently. They were equipped with various online tools and resources. Those were incorporated into their teaching, thus making the learning process a more enriching and fruitful one. Various offline, informative and instructive videos were created and sent to students to keep the process of learning going on. Interactive sheets were created and shared with students to make the teaching learning process a smooth one. Awards fill in us pride, immense joy and a sense of responsibility of doing good work continuously. Our principal was awarded for active participation in the national webinar on sanitization and its management strategies for students during COVID-19 pandemic by Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay Adarsh Mahavidyalay. Our principal was awarded for being a part of the world record in the biggest virtual felicitation ceremony by Fun to Learn's Acharya Chanikya Shikshavit Saman. The school was ranked eighth in Mumbai and third best in Zone B for national international curriculum in the Time School Survey 2020. Our school has been ranked eighth by Education World among the top 10 schools in Mumbai. Our principal was awarded as Asia Pacific Educationist by International Institution of Education and Management. Our school won the National School Award for being the best preschool of the year. Our school also won the National School Award for being the most innovative school in COVID-19. It's a matter of pride to share with you our results, parents. Our SSC toppers are Adi Shri Rani with 97%, Sophia Arbani with 95.6%, 
Gayatri Bala with 93.4% and Mozama Majgankar with 93.4%. Our IGCSE school toppers are Adil Haider. He got A star in business studies and environmental management. He also got A grade in English, information and communication, mathematics and physics. Sujat Ali Agaria. He got A star in physics, biology and chemistry. He also got a grade in information and communication and mathematics. Vedant Kule. He got A star in physics, biology and chemistry. And he also got A grade in information and communication and mathematics. We celebrated different important days virtually. Yoga day, music day, independence day, Mentors Day and Teachers Day. Teachers and students participated wholeheartedly exhibiting vigor and enthusiasm. Virtual field trips were organized in accordance with the curriculum as they serve an excellent purpose of enhancing the learning process. Different activities were conducted in the online classes wherein the learners acquired first-hand information and enriched their knowledge. Co-curricular activities are intended to bring social and intellectual skills, moral, cultural and ethical values, personality development and character advancement in students. Keeping this in mind, we have conducted online classes for art, craft, PE and music. Parents, we have been getting your support in every endeavor that we have undertaken in the past and we are confident of getting the same in the future. I thank you all for gracing today's occasion. Once again, my heartfelt gratitude to all parents for being so cooperative and understanding. Thank you once again, parents. Enjoy the rest of the program. We dance for laughter, we dance for madness, we dance for hopes, we dance for ice creams. We are the dancers, we create dreams. Let's move forward to another scintillating performance by our energetic friends on the song I Like to Move It. Move it! 